Hi, my name is Mitch Mitchell. I don't always tell my name, but I figured I would tell it because I haven't said it in a long time. Uh, I'm hoping to do an uh, interview with someone in a couple of weeks, but I'll be doing it on my other channel. So you may not have known who I am. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I thank you for watching. So here's what I'm going to talk about today. You know, on Tuesday, I went up to visit my mother. Now, I live about uh, 90 minutes away from her, and mom now is 77 years old. She has slowed down a lot. Um, luckily, I've been able to get her to walk around the house. She has a handicap sticker because of her legs, but I gave her kind of a walking program, and she started doing it. So she moves a lot better, but truthfully, she's slow. And she's not just slow walking, she's slow pretty much in everything she does. Uh, for instance, when I go up, a lot of times we'll go to Subway and I will buy us subs and we'll go home. And then it takes her about 20 minutes before she even gets to the first bite. That's just how it is with a lot of older people. They get to a certain point, they have things where they're regimented and it has to be done their way. Actually, I'm kind of like that now myself. But the thing is, I do things kind of fast. That's the reason I'm kind of regimented because it helps me get through things fast. But for mom, she gets through things slow. Everyone has probably been to the store where you see older people who are moving pretty slow. That's just how it is. A lot of us are going to be there. Probably if we all live to at least 70s, we're all going to slow down. That's just how it is. So I'm there at mom's and we decide to go out to the store to buy some stuff. So we go to Wegmans in the Rochester area because they, you know that's where mom lives and Wegmans is the major chain uh, in this area. So we're at the store and we walk around and we get all the stuff. And so we go to the checkout counter. Now, there was just one lady in front of us when we got there, so we put the stuff up and that lady's done and so now it's mom's turn. So I'm standing in front of mom because I put everything up on the conveyor belt for her. And then this other guy comes, and he puts his stuff up on the conveyor belt. And this may have been a guy somewhere around my age. That's the best I have. And mom is moving kind of slow. And I happen to say to mom, oh, looks like they're uh, collecting money for some of the children. They've got these bags here that they've already uh, packaged with dollar amounts. So she says, well, I usually just try to give money for charity. So, okay, fine. I didn't I didn't know you could just give Wegmans money for charity. So, we get up there. She, you know, the lady tells her how much it is. Mom pays it. And then mom tries to give her a $5 bill. And the lady says, well, what's this $5 bill for? She says, oh, I'm trying to give it for the charity. So, the lady tries to explain what the bags are. And mom's not quite getting it. And, you know, mom is actually still pretty sharp. But this was just one of those things that was confusing her. The guy behind her lost his control, and he started banging on the conveyor belt. Now, I'm watching this guy, and I'm irked. And my first instinct was to go behind mom, get in his face, and ask him if he had a problem, and dare him to start something. Yes, I'm now 56 years old. I haven't been in a fight since I was 19 years old. Actually, that's not even quite true. I don't think I've been in a fight since I was 16 or 17. Um, you know, I was big enough so that, you know, sometimes you can get in someone's face to dare them to do it. But most of the time, you know, actually all the times, it just never happened. But I get angry really quick. And I was angry at this time because I didn't like this guy, you know, showing his anger towards my mom. Now, she didn't notice it. And I really wanted to do something but I didn't because I'm the guy who talks about trying to have patience and not do something to someone because you don't know what their situation is. But in this instant, I was angry as anything. So instead, I held it and I said, Mom, we'll, we'll take care of this the next time we come. I think the guy behind you has something he needs to get done. And then we leave. Now, this guy probably felt no shame, but I made sure I said it loud enough so he could hear it. Because he was being a jerk. Now, for the next five minutes, I'm angry as anything. I just was really angry. And mom, who missed it, she's not angry at all. She wants to talk to me. <laughs> and I'm fighting myself because I don't want to snap at mom because this other guy had made me mad. And eventually, 
I did calm down, and I had all these other great lines that popped into my mind that I just wanted to slap back at him. But I didn't. And, you know, I was thinking about it because of what I just kind of said a second ago. We never know what other people have going on in their lives. Now, this guy didn't look like he had to be anywhere really fast. I mean, you know, he's wearing shirt, you know, shorts, and he's got a short sleeve shirt on, so, he's, you know, he certainly wasn't missing a meeting. Uh, he didn't have tons of things on uh, the conveyor belt. As a matter of fact, I don't know why he didn't go to the seven or, or fewer lines where he could have gone through quicker. I don't know why he decided to stop there, but he did. And, you know, it... It's one of those kind of things you just never really know what's going on in someone's mind. I mean, he could have had some other issues, some other things going on. And he thought he was making a quick trip to the store to get some stuff. Or he could have just been a blankety blank. <laughs> you know, you hate those people. Um, but, you know, it does sometimes take a lot of self-restraint not to pimp slap somebody or get in their face. And in today's world... Well, I wasn't worried about this guy having a gun, but you never know if someone else has a gun. But if I'd gone over there and I'd smacked him, I'd be the one going to jail for assault, even though he was a jerk. And you just can't do it. Uh, back in the 70s, you probably could have slapped the guy and gotten away with it, saying, well, he insulted my mother or whatever, and I'd have had a witness to it because there was a guy behind him. Uh, but that doesn't work today. And I tell this story for a couple of reasons. One, because it did show that I held myself in check and I did show this self-restraint in not throttling this jerk. But two, we never know really what's going on with other people's lives and it's possible that he had some issues. And actually, since I said two, there's a three, which is we're all going to slow down. You know, sometimes we have to put ourselves in other people's uh, minds uh, or bodies or situations. And I will tell you the truth. I have had times where I have been frustrated with mom because it takes her so long to do certain things. For instance, I now call her like usually 10 minutes before I get to the house and say, hey, I'm going to be there in 10 minutes. Go get yourself dressed now <laughs> so that we can leave when I get there. Because it used to be that when I got there, she would be downstairs wearing, you know, I just call it the long t-shirt. Because it's a one shirt thing and it comes all the way past her knees. I don't I don't even know where you find stuff like that. Uh, I'd never wear it. But, you know, it's not a muumuu because mom is kind of tiny. But, you know, this is what she'll wear with her socks on because she says she doesn't like anything tight on her unless she has to go out. So I call ahead so that then I know she'll go upstairs and get dressed and, you know, be close to ready by the time I get there. So, you know, you look at things like that and you say, well, I can modify part of my behavior so that I can help them to not make me <laughs> get irritated by certain things. So I'm sitting there thinking, well, you know, if I know that sometimes I, you know, just come on, mom, let's get going. You know, why is everything taking so long? You know, okay, I'm going out to the car and, you know, I'm going to go start the car to warm it up or to cool it down. I'm going to grab the thing out of your car because she has a garage door opener that I have to take out of her car to put in my car when I go visit. And, you know, then I'm sitting in the car. So, okay, so where's mom? So then I go in and said, where are you? I'm back upstairs. What are you doing back upstairs? Well, I thought I forgot something. You know, what are you going to do? You can't get mad at your parents because they're getting older and they're getting slower. Uh, I'm lucky that, you know, yes, she has some memory issues, but she can still drive and she can still take care of herself. And she basically likes her company. I'm thankful for that. So, you know, we have to learn to control ourselves. We have to learn to Try to put ourselves in someone else's shoes, someone else's footsteps. And we have to recognize that there are things that happen with other people that are probably going to happen to us. It's going to happen. So that's all I got. I want to know what you guys think. You know, I know if you're a bunch of 20-year-olds, whatever, you're probably saying, oh, that's never going to happen to me. Trust me, it's going to happen to you. You know what? I'm now in my 50s, and I walk between five and ten miles every single day. 
But I have started to notice that Mr. Fast Walker, who was always me, is now being passed by these little 20-somethings who don't seem like they should be able to move that fast. And that used to be me, and I'm walking thinking I'm doing something special. So obviously, I've slowed down just a little bit. If a dinosaur ever really comes, I'm toast. It's just, <laughs> just no getting away from it. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to y'all later.